Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. So the last video on the Beretta Model 92 Compact Carry, we noted that it is a really good crossover service slash concealed carry pistol, roughly in the vein of the Glock 19. And um, the trigger was a good service type, double action, single action trigger. Nothing wrong there. I also noted, to the consternation of some, that I don't prefer the platform. And it's not a matter of quality. It's not that it's not a good gun. It's just, there are issues of ergonomics and, pra and packaging that I personally find suboptimal. That's not a reflection on the gun. That's a reflection on my taste, the size of my hand, and a thousand other factors. So, good gun but can it be a great gun? So I handed it back to its owner, Leah, and she applied the Langdon Tactical trigger job in a box and a few touches of her own that we'll discuss further. But before we get into the weeds, I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon. It's all costs money. Your contributions help more than you know. There's a link in the description below if you would like to join them and help support this channel. As an added bonus, in conjunction with Rain City Shooting Center, you will have the opportunity to win a brand new inbox High Point YC9 Yeet Cannon shipped directly to an FFL near you if you join between now and 31 December at the $1 level or higher. There will be a drawing on January 1st and we will contact the winner so that they can make arrangements to have it shipped to their FFL. Um, to win, you must be a resident of the United States for legal reasons. There's, it's, we just can't deal with international shipping on a gun. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so anyway, let's get on with it. So, when considering the shooting videos, bear in mind that I had not fired this gun much previously, and I did not fire it at all before, with the new trigger in it before what you saw. With practice, I would do much, much better. And it's still a fairly fair comparison with the CZ, because, I, adding it up, I just realized I haven't shot this in probably eight months. My bad. Um, this is a lovely gun to shoot. And the trigger is excellent. So, let's go to the tabletop and talk about that a little more. So, Langdon's, Langdon Tactical's trigger job in a box... Uh, costs um, roughly $175 to $225, depending on the options you select. And before that was fitted, the double action on this was 10 pounds, according to my trigger gauge, and four and a quarter pounds single action. 10 pounds double action, four and a quarter single action. It is not anymore, because Leah has fitted the trigger job in a box, and thrown in a few touches of her own. She has selected the match hammer and 
This required a slight modification to the trigger bar to ensure that when the hammer was down, the firing pin safety would be engaged. But not a big deal, and she had to remove some tooling marks from the meeting surfaces for the sear on the match hammer, and a little overall smoothing up here and there. The result is the double action trigger is no longer 10 pounds. It is now seven and a half pounds, quite smooth. The single action is, and of course there's always going to be take up on a single action, double action, but you take up very light to a wall and boom, there it goes. Three pound trigger, super crisp, no take up, no perceptible over travel at all. Amazing and wonderful. The reset is crazy. So the superlative that we apply to a gun when we want to express that its reset is very good is a 1911. This is not 1911 good. This is really, really good 1911 good. That's it. Literally just a few thousandths of an inch. The reset is right there. You're right back at the wall. Very easy. Very, very nice. And we'll talk about that more in a bit. But the thing is, is that it is no longer... Okay, when we started comparing it to this, which Leah had installed the full Cajun Gunworks trigger setup on, it was an unfair comparison. Now that she's worked this over, it's still not a very fair comparison because this is better. The double action is lighter. Well, it, it, yeah, it is half a pound lighter, but it feels lighter than that. The single action on this reset is 1911-ish and is very, very good. Trigger pull is two and a half pounds. Tiny bit of over travel, tiny bit of creep in it, but still very, very good. But it's not even in the same league as this. Now, Ryan at Rain City Shooting Center has um, quite a lot of very Gucci guns. And among them, he has an actual Langdon Tactical Beretta Model 92 Compact. So we have the opportunity to compare them head to head. So let's see what Ryan had to say. All right, so forgive me. This is totally brought on me. This is completely unscripted. So we have the Beretta 92 Custom Carry. This is the Langdon Tactical Trigger in a box. Trigger, trigger in a bag. In a box. Okay, and this was done by Leah. Um, great feel, single action, super short, awesome reset, double action pull, super smooth, little tight, not a definitive wall, but you wouldn't really expect that in a double action, super smooth pull all the way through. Now I have an actual Beretta done by Langdon Tactical themselves. This was sent off. This actually was a gun uh, that was given to me by Pat Hilliard. Um, this was sent to Langdon Tactical and they did the job themselves and extremely comparable. The reset is almost identical. The only thing I would say that differs is the double action. The double action's a little bit smoother from Langdon, but also you send it to Langdon, you're gonna spend 550 bucks. You order the pack, what is it, 250? Something like that. 275, so yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm impressed. So this is CCP-01 Omega that Leah worked over with a full Cajun Gunworks trigger system mm -hmm. and a little bit of smoothing up here and there.
Okay. So much heavier on the trigger pull, but fantastic for a CZ. Yeah. These out of the box, um, I mean, they are heavy, heavy, heavy double action guns. I mean, I know it's not true, but I'd say it's a 14, 15 pound out of the box. That's what it feels like, right? Very gritty, very strong. Um, we have people order these in all the time and that's the very first thing they want me to do is, hey, can you lighten up the trigger? Uh, which we can, absolutely. But this is phenomenal. Um, still a heavy trigger, but a smooth trigger nonetheless. The reset is great. Uh, it's a little longer for my taste, but it's very pronounced. It's very audible. You can tell that it's there. You get right back on the wall and that single action is just great. I mean, you have quite a bit of take up, but that's expected from a CZ. Come with that wall, nice clean breakthrough. And that is a two and a half pound trigger pull, single action. Yeah, oh, it's phenomenal. That's great work. Yeah, it doesn't hold a flame to these two. No, obviously. it really doesn't. Uh, but it's a completely different animal, right? Yep. Um, I'd be happy with any of them. But yeah, this is this is one of the better CZ triggers I have ever felt. I have to tell Leah if she ever wants to, you know, be poor, she could go into gunsmithing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Demands way too many hours and the pay shit. But hey, uh, this is great. Yeah, okay. great job, Leah. Great job. Okay, so Leah's gun with the trigger in a bag and a little bit of smoothing up and modification of her own. And the trigger, double action trigger, I mean, we're talking worked over K-Frame Smith & Wesson here. That's a good double action trigger. The single action, super crisp, no over travel. And the reset is crazy short. We always say it's 1911 short. This is really, really good 1911 short. Very impressive. Okay, Langdon Tactical. It's better, but it's a matter of smoothness and slightly lighter, but it's really, really good. And then single action. I'd say it's lighter, but not better and not much lighter. Reset. I'm gonna have to check that. The reset on Leah's is conspicuously shorter. Yeah. Now, this one is better than you will ever need. Yeah. This one is better than better you will ever need. <laughs> <laughs> See, and I can't notice a huge difference between the two and the reset. Yeah, but I'm I'm a total trigger sure, geek. Sure, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So that is, I mean, that is wonderful. Um, yeah, I'd be delighted with either of these guns. Mm -hmm. But yeah, fantastic job, Leah. So it looks very much like the Langdon trigger job in a bag. Really does live up to its name, and uh, it's technically supposed to be fitted by a gunsmith, but. Someone who's reasonably handy and knows the way around firearms with a minimum tools can install it themselves, and it seems to yield great benefits. So, anyway, that finishes our very unfair comparison <laughs> and our look at the Beretta Model 92 Custom Carry. So, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.